Well, decades ago, a CIA supervisor gave Virginia Hall a bad performance review, saying that she needed to wear more makeup. Today, her accomplishments in helping to end World War II are known, and a group of women who served in the U.S. intelligence community are on a new mission. She made for an unlikely spy, an American woman behind German lines in France of the 1940s. But Maryland native Virginia Hall proved so good at intelligence, the Nazis gave her nicknames. She was referred to by Klaus Barbie, who was one of the evilest, the meanest Nazis there, there were, were, as the limping bitch. Hall would become a spy after losing part of her leg in a hunting accident. With a prosthetic limb she named Cuthbert, she went on to sabotage German operations in advance of the D-Day invasion. This is a postcard that I found last year. It was buried in a box. And she writes, and so the catastrophe has come. I can't begin to express the horror I feel at the useless slaughter being embarked upon caused by the usual enemies of the civilized world. Everything here is quiet. I am staying. Hall's great nephew, Brad Catling, says she hid fake passports in that hollow leg while spying for the British and then the Americans with the Office of Strategic Services, the predecessor to the CIA. Researchers say she posed as a journalist and later as a milkmaid, getting her teeth filed down to pass as an older woman. Hall's niece, Lorna Catling, remembers those days. I met her when I was 16. Um, and she, arrayed, she arrived still in her spy uniform, which was puffy clothes to make her look fat, and they were lumpy and old and white hair because she was supposed to look like an old woman. And I was not impressed. Her life reads like a novel. In France, Hall stayed for a time in a nunnery recruited people in the woods, and gathered intelligence from unusual sources, farmers, manufacturers, and a woman in a brothel. To avoid German capture, she trekked 50 miles over the Pyrenees Mountains with her artificial leg. Then she did something exposed spies never do. She went back. Hall then organized, armed, and trained 1,500 French resistance fighters for sabotage and ambush missions. When the war was over, she returned once more to find her agents, petitioning the U.S. government for their restitution. Why don't Americans know who Virginia Hall is? The intelligence community hasn't told its story very well. And part of the reason is that's our story, is that we uh, don't shine a light on ourselves because that anonymity allows us to act. Since 2021, Sue Gordon, the former principal deputy director of national intelligence, and Ellen McCarthy, the former assistant secretary of state who led the Bureau of Intelligence and Research, have been working with other retired female spies to get Hall the highest military award in the country, the Medal of Honor. They're also working with Hall's family and the chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee. Senator Mark Warner sent a letter to Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin last summer asking him to upgrade a distinguished service cross Hall received. He declined. You know, I'm not going to lie, I was very disappointed. Um, you know, we had worked very hard on this and it just seemed so clear to me. The Defense Department said she was ineligible because she was a civilian. But declassified intelligence shows Hall received combat credit for an operation in France. Is the act of espionage that is fundamentally a supporting discipline to warfare. Um, do we understand how exacting, how risky, how physical, how uncertain, how gallant that is when it looks different from what is done by the person that picks up a weapon and fights. Now they're trying again with the Department of Army historian. If we can get the historian from the Department of Army to draw that line, that she was operating in a military capacity, um, that maybe that will be uh, you know, another data point that will compel um, the secretary to maybe reconsider his um, decision. Would Hall even care about this award? She wouldn't care. But the women say this medal isn't just about Hall. 
It's a way to show that conspicuous gallantry, criterion for the award, takes many forms. That our history was not made um, by people who looked all the same. They were not all West Point Civil War generals or descendants of those who were making a difference in the security of our nation. They say the U.S. needs more Virginia halls for the problems we're facing. So you're never going to give up. We're not going to give up. And, you know, maybe it's also an opportunity um, to really look at, you know, the whole Medal of Honor process. And does it still, you know, do those requirements still apply today? And by the way, the only reason that Hall even became an intelligence officer is because the State Department refused to allow her to become a diplomat her dream after her leg was amputated following a hunting accident. She even wrote to Franklin D. Roosevelt asking him for help. Mind you, he was paralyzed from polio and she was still told no. Oh, but there was no telling her no. Sounds like Sasha Ingber, appreciate that.